Hi, everyone. I'm Jill, and I work on the AWS reInvent team, uh, focused mostly on our content strategy. So today we are going to talk about uh, what you can expect at reInvent and all the cool content we have planned for you. Um, quick overview, we'll talk about what to expect, what our campus looks like this year, what content can be found at each venue, uh, the types of content that will be presented, um, all the new fun stuff we have coming up, the best ways to navigate the reInvent uh, campus, um, and what kind of activities uh, there will be besides breakout content, because we have lots going on. Let's get started. What you can expect uh, at AWS reInvent 2017. We have expanded content offerings. Uh, we are up to four and a half days of content across six venues, and the reInvent campus is expanded and bigger than ever. We have a variety of ways for you to learn this year so you can gain deeper knowledge, um, learn more about how to work on AWS. You can choose from over a thousand plus technical sessions in addition to um, full day technical boot camps and self paced labs, and prove your cloud skills by getting AWS certified. Um, we will have more access to experts than ever through breakout sessions um, and other opportunities to meet with them. And as always, we'll have new product announcements so that you can learn about the latest things we're making on AWS. You can expand your professional network with access to our partners uh, through the pub crawl and the expo. You can also experience our quirky Amazonian culture through Broomball, Tatanka, our annual Harley ride, and all the other cool things we are bringing your way. And at the end of everything, you'll be able to celebrate with the AWS community at Replay. And this year, we will be taking over Vegas. We are taking over the Strip with activities um, in hotels up and down Las Vegas Boulevard. Uh, we we'll start at the Encore, where you can reserve meeting space and attend side meetings at the Venetian Palazzo and Sands Expo. Among other things, there are breakout sessions, Andy Jassy's keynote, Expo Hall and Welcome Reception, and Hands-On Labs. At the link uh, will be the replay party on Thursday, fun activities at the park and our hack tent. At the Mirage, you can attend boot camps and get AWS certified. At the ARIA, there will be breakout sessions and the quad. And at the MGM Grand will be Werner Vogel's keynote as well as breakout sessions. Now let's talk about the specific venues where you can find content. The ARIA. So at the ARIA, you'll be able to uh, attend breakout content in six tracks. Alexa, Analytics and Big Data, Containers, IoT, Machine Learning and Serverless. So if you have, if you're particularly interested in any of those, you'll definitely want to check out the ARIA. It's one of our new locations this year. Another new location we have for you this year is the MGM grant. The MGM, you can attend sessions on business apps, enterprise migration and hybrid, security, identity and compliance, and Windows. And then at the Venetian, uh, on Monday only, we have an expanded industry day. And you'll be able to attend sessions on things like life sciences, healthcare, media and entertainment, gaming, financial services, telecommunication, automotive, manufacturing, retail, ad tech, energy and utilities, public sector, the developer community, and we're even doing a series on diversity in the workplace. And that's all just on Monday. The rest of the week, you'll be able to attend sessions on architecture, the AWS marketplace and service catalog, compute, content delivery, databases, DevOps, machine learning, mobile networking, and storage. And then at the Mirage, uh, we have our boot camps and our certifications. Boot camps are Monday through Thursday and run for a half day from 8 a.m. to 12 p.m. or for a full day from 9 a.m. to 5 p.m. Please remember you need to bring your own laptop and it needs to have a dual core processor and four gigs of RAM. To register for, for boot camps, you need to first be registered for reInvent. Each boot camp costs $225 to $600 in addition to the reInvent conference pass. The AWS Certification Exam Testing Center is also located at the Mirage and is open Monday to Friday. You can sign up in advance for exams at www.awstraining backslash certification. Associate exams are $150 and professional and specialty exams are $300. So that's the actual kind of content that you're going to see at each of the venues. So now that we've covered that, we're going to talk about the types of content that you can find at each venue. So um, these are the three types of content that will be happening at every venue. First is our 
uh, traditional breakout sessions. And that's the format we're all used to. Experts talk, you listen and take notes, and you'll have a chance to ask a few questions at the end. Sessions will be led by both AWS experts and AWS customers. Our goal is to go as in-depth and be as technical as possible, so you as the customer come away with net new knowledge. Breakout sessions are 60 minutes, and there will be time for a formal Q&A at the end of the presentation. Workshops. Uh, you may have seen, you may remember workshops um, from the last couple reinvents, um, but this year we're expanding the number and the scope of workshops, giving you more opportunities to attend workshops than ever. In a workshop, you'll work in small groups of eight to 10 to solve problems and work as a group on AWS. In a workshop, you will have the opportunity to learn not only from AWS experts, but from uh, your fellow attendees. Workshops are two and a half hours long. And we also, in addition to the main speaker in a workshop, staff workshops with proctors who can help facilitate, answer questions, and keep the conversations going. Brand new this year, we're introducing Chalk Talks. Um, Chalk Talks, uh, every year we get feedback that reInvent attendees want deeper, more technical content and more access to AWS experts. And Chalk Talks are the best of both worlds. Um, Chalk Talks begin with a 10 to 15 minute short lecture given by uh, an expert on a very specific topic or service. And then that's followed by an open forum Q&A. Um, so basically the rest of the 60 minutes um, is the attendees and the, both the uh, person who gives the lecture, we have additional experts in the room, having a conversation um, about the service that was just presented. We also have whiteboards in every room, and uh, this allows whiteboarding, an actual whiteboarding session to happen. We whiteboard diagrams, and um, people can work through problems in the room with the experts. So those are the three types of content that you can find that, that are going to be in every single venue. But in addition to that, um, we have new content, uh, lots of new content that, we, that are taking place in specific venues all across the campus. This year, we're introducing what we call skill sessions at the ARIA. And what this is, is like a small group. You can sign up in groups of three. Um, to learn how to build specific skills um, on various AWS services. So you can learn to build an Alexa skill right there on your laptop with an expert. Uh, you can learn how to make a robot working directly with an AWS bot expert. Um, skill sessions are 45 minutes long and really give you access to the experts so you can ask questions and learn how to really create things on AWS. Builder's Fair is in the quad at the ARIA. So Builder's Fair, think like almost high school science fair, but will look a little bit cooler. Um, Builder's Fair is, uh, we have uh, about 50 different projects and they're set up as demos at demo tables. And as an attendee, you can walk up, interact with the person that built that demo, built that project, um, learn how they built it, learn what they used to build it, and then walk away from that with the ability to replicate that at home. That's one of our goals of the Builders Fair, is that people who attend Builders Fair and work with our experts walk away with the knowledge of how to create something cool like that on their own. Um, we are also doing um, several, featuring some brand new, really cool machine learning activities at the ARIA as well. Uh, Robocar Rally 2017. You'll learn the latest in autonomous driving from industry leaders and join a pit crew to customize, train, and race your own one tenth of the scale Robocar using Apache MXNet. All registered pit crews will be provided a Robocar in the race, but you can also build and bring your own Robocar for exhibition races. Also, another machine learning activity at the ARIA we're calling the Deep Learning Summit. Uh, the Deep Learning Summit is designed to provide a differentiated experience to reInvent attendees who are focused on deep learning that goes beyond traditional breakout sessions and workshops. Elements include deep learning applied research topics and we'll have a networking event at the end. Uh, the summit is focused on showcasing deep learning trends and emerging centers of gravity. So if you're particularly, <clears throat> excuse me, if you're particularly interested in deep learning, um, the summit will be on the Thursday of reInvent. So you'll have an opportunity to really dive deep into deep learning um, and learn more than ever. We're also adding uh, speaker meet and greets in the park at the link. Um, I think we've anyone who's attended a session and been really inspired or um, 
been really interested or intrigued in the speaker, we'll have opportunities for uh, for our customers to meet the speakers in the park um, and chat with them in a more informal uh, setting so that they can you can ask your questions and get all, all of them answered. We'll also be doing uh, late night sessions, workshops, chalk talks, and hands-on labs. Um, if you are hardcore on AWS learning and you want to continue your learning into the night, you'll have that opportunity this year. Um, you'll find all of these uh, available. Uh, you can register for these sessions when um, the schedule builder goes live. And then we are also expanding our hackathon program. So making its return is our the nonprofit hackathon that we've done every year. Um, we're also doing the Autonomous Car Hackathon, which is the RoboCar Rally 2017. Uh, Game Day and Security Jam are also returning this year. And then we are adding a DevOps Jam, an Analytics Jam, a Hack Your Office, uh, which is an Alexa hackathon, and then the Smart Cities Hackathon also by Alexa. So all of this content and all of this learning that we've covered is a lot. And we want to be able to give you some pointers on how to best navigate the campus so that you can attend as many of these things as you want. So we are going to cover um, how to navigate our content this year. First of all, plan ahead to maximize your session schedule. The best way to make the most of reInvent is to be familiar with the content that you want to see and where that content is taking place. The current session catalog is live and you can go look at it right now. Um, we're adding sessions every day um, uh, and we'll, we'll have all the, the session catalog will be locked in final in the next week or so. Um, and though we don't have the actual session schedule live yet, when you do log into the session catalog, you will be able to see which venue you, the sessions are taking place in. We've tried to be really strategic about which venue uh, specific tracks go into so that we can um, communicate to our customers early um, how uh, where where the sessions will be so you can start making some plans. So uh, review the session catalog right now. It'll let you know where uh, which venue the sessions are in. Then come October 12th, the session catalog schedule will be available. Um, last year, uh, we did reserve seating and we had a f we had several people request to view the session to view the actual session schedule before reserve seating went live so we are implementing that this year um, you'll be able to see the full session catalog you can't reserve a seat on october 12th but you'll be able to explore the full calendar and get a good idea of which sessions you're interested in and know if those sessions conflict with each other so you can make plans ahead of time which session you really want to go to. Um, we're planning our repeats very early and often. So you can look through the catalog and perhaps, you know, something you want to attend at the Venetian on one day conflicts with something at the Aria, but there will be a repeat of that session later in the week at the Venetian. So you can, we're, we're giving you a week um, with the session catalog uh, schedule so that you can fully dive into it and make some really key decisions. And then reserve seating will open on October 19th. So we're bringing reserve seating back um, and you will be able to reserve seats and have a guaranteed seat in the sessions that you want starting October 19th. Um, but again, the best way to really navigate reInvent content is to be super familiar with the content that you want to interact with and where that content is taking place. Two, use the shuttle to move quickly between menus. This year, because of our expanded campus, we uh, have a shuttle system that goes between all the venues, the Encore, the Venetian, the Link, Mirage, Aria, and MGM. In the coming weeks, we'll, re we'll release a full shuttle schedule so that you all will have the opportunity to get familiar with the shuttle, shuttle schedule and see how it works. You should definitely plan at least 30 minutes to get from one venue to another and definitely allow extra time during peak shuttle times before and after keynotes. So we have the shuttle, it'll be there. Um, definitely take advantage of it um, and, and uh, know, be strategic about um, if you are wanting to, if you're attending a session in the Venetian and you know you want to get over to the ARIA, planning that time in advance so that you know that you can get there on time. Three, 
get out and explore the campus. So we have repeats of key sessions early and often. You'll have the freedom to plan time at each of the venues, knowing you have more than one opportunity to attend the deep dives on AWS services. Um, we want to make sure people uh, get out and um, experience all that we have at each and every venue. And um, as a way of encouraging folks to do that, um, we know we know based on content from last several years uh, what the most important and what the most popular sessions are. And to that end, we're planning repeats of those most popular sessions um, so that you can reserve a seat in them early and so that you can feel comfortable going out to all the other venues. So um, it's important to get out there and see and see the venues and where we've planned these repeats as part of a way to encourage that. We're also overflowing sessions across venues. So we'll stream the most popular sessions in between venues. Um, that'll give you the opportunity to view a session taking place in one venue when you're in another. So if you're in the ARIA um, and you want to spend the day in the ARIA, but there's one, you know, one really popular session, a deep dive on DynamoDB that's taking place in the Venetian and you don't want to miss that. Uh, we'll be oh, we'll be um, overflowing those sessions, streaming those sessions from the Venetian into the Aria. So all you'll have to do is pop into that overflow room, and you can see the session that's happening in the Venetian in the Aria. So definitely get out, explore the campus. Um, uh, definitely, you know, attend sessions from as many different tracks as possible, um, and see what we have to offer. So in addition to all of the content that we are offering, we also have lots of other fun things happening at reInvent. And I'm gonna go over those really quick. Um, first, we have our welcome reception that's taking place in the Expo in the Venetian and in the Quad at the Aria from 5.30 to 7.30 on Tuesday, November 28th. You can also visit the Expo in the Venetian, which opens Tuesday at 11 and runs through Thursday at 6 p.m. And visit the Quad at the Aria, which opens Monday and runs through Thursday at 6 p.m. Uh, between the 5K, our spinning challenge, and the fitness boot camps, there are plenty of really fun fitness opportunities that will keep you happy and healthy at reInvent. Um, you can still sign up for the 5K on Tuesday, November 28th at 6 a.m. The event cost is $45, and the proce proceeds benefit the American Heart Association and Girls Who Code. The spinning challenges take place on Wednesday, November 29th, and there are seven opportunities throughout the day to spin. You can sign up for a 45-minute session. It's $35 per ride, and the proceeds benefit the American Heart Association. And then the fitness boot camps are on Thursday, November 4th, with four time slots to choose from, 7 a.m., 8 a.m., 4 p.m., and 5 p.m. The cost is $25 per boot camp, and proceeds benefit Girls Who Code and the American Heart Association. Um, as we talked about briefly in the beginning, we are bringing back broomball this year. Uh, the broomball tournament will be Tuesday, November 28th from 5.30 to 7.30. Uh, for those of you that have not experienced broomball, it's a unique Amazonian tradition. It's a game that combines traditional broomball and soccer. Um, there's an eight-team tournament, and you can sign up and hold your team spot by emailing us at aws-reinvent-broomball at amazon.com. Even if you're not interested in playing in the tournament, you can definitely come and observe. Uh, the Tatanka Challenge. Uh, join us for our annual chicken wing or celery stick, if you don't eat meat, uh, eating contest. This year, we're expanding the contest to two locations, in the Venetian and in the MGM Grand. Be sure to pre-register to reserve your spot um, and, and part to participate and become the person that eats the most chicken wings. Um, our replay party. Be sure to join us for the biggest and best replay ever. It will be Thursday, November 30th at 8 p.m. at the link. Um, this year's Harley ride will take place on Sunday, November 26th. Definitely the best way to start your reInvent week. And then we're also doing a We Power in Tech Inclusion Happy Hour um, that will take place on the evening of Monday, November 27th. And you can sign up to attend that through the schedule builder. So... Those are all, that is the end of my planned content. Um, and those are kind of the various ways that the, all the various content and the cool stuff we're doing at reInvent this year. So I'm happy to take questions.